Hey everyone, welcome. It's Kika. I found these super fun looking lions on Pinterest and I thought what a fun project to recreate and procreate. We will start off by drawing a face. You can draw the body as well if you'd like, but I'm just gonna focus on the face. Pick out some fun features from each one. Then we'll draw the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And on another layer, we'll draw out the mane, these fun looking rectangular style. And then we can decide whatever color we'd like. I'm gonna go for the rainbow effect with the fun geometric shapes. Kind of abstract the colorful lion's face. So let's get started. I'm going to use the paper size eight and a half by 11, just because it's easy to print if you want to print it or send to a friend and it has tons of layers. I will be using the chalk brush for the whole drawing. Let's start off by drawing the face, the main part, kind of like a yellow, a yellow orange color like that. So to draw the head, I'm going to draw an oval. On the second layer, put that below for now, I will draw a circle. And I need the circle to be bigger than that oval. Hold your pen down or your stylus, your finger, tap with your other finger and get a perfect circle. And this is why I drew them on different layers because I want to tap the transform tool and be able to move it over if needed. So uh, I need the circle to be wider than that oval, which it is, so I don't have to increase the size. And yeah, I like that. So something like that. Now I will merge those two together. I, you can pinch it or just tap and... I think it's merge down, yep. Tap and tap, merge down. So this is where we'll connect. This will be the side of the face. Same here. And now you can just color drop. Whoops. Obviously, it was not enclosed somewhere. And don't forget, you can change the threshold up here by holding your pencil down. So, there you go. Mine's about 70%. Yours might be a little bit different. Tap continue filling. And just tap where you need to fill it in. Tap on the pencil brush. I'm gonna increase my pencil brush just to, whoops, just to cover up some of that white in the middle. And a little bit on the side here. We are using a texture brush, so this is quite common. If we use a monoline brush, then this wouldn't happen. But for craft idea and art, texture brushes are fun. Okay, let's draw the ears. Ears, new layer. Let's rename that, keep it organized. Ears. We want the ears about here. And you can have them rounded or I'm going to square them off at the top a little bit. Like so. You can color drop but make sure it's enclosed on the bottom here. If it's not enclosed, it'll fill your whole page. Same idea, just fix up these edges a little bit. And if you would like, you can redraw it or just duplicate it and move it over. So that's what I'm gonna do. Duplicate my layer, make sure that's selected. Transform tool, snapping is on so that it's equal and uniform. I'm just gonna slide it over and then tap flip horizontally. That way, it looks equal. Perfect. Now I will merge those ears together. What do we need next? Face. Rename eyes, nose. That layer is the face layer, so I'll just rename that face. I will use a black color, so just double tap in the dark area. Make sure my brush is smaller, maybe 5%. Yeah, that's good. I'm on the correct layer, yes. 
And up here, I'm just gonna draw two curves for a smiling lion. And if you'd like, you can duplicate the one eye to make sure they're even and do the same thing and flip it. Uh, we need a nose. So I'm gonna color pick this yellow. Make it a little bit more orange, a little bit more darker. Can I get a, like a brown nose? Mm, darker. There we go. Down here. Curve the top. And then bring it down like a triangle. Or upside down triangle, I guess. Color that in. Now I'm gonna grab that black again and just draw two lines here for the mouth. You can add whiskers, but before whiskers, I think I'm gonna add light pink for kind of like a blush for the cheeks. Increase my brush to about 20 and just ever so slightly If you hold your stylus to the side, it'll give you a more shading effect with a chalk brush. Okay, I like that. Double tap. I think I'm gonna put the whiskers on another layer just in case I need to fix something with the nose or anything like that. And just add, whoa, decrease my brush size. Out of my whiskers. And now jump back to the eyes and nose layer. Or actually, stay on the whisker layer, go back. We'll put it, color drop this brown for the nose. Got a little bit darker shade. And here is where, starting here, we're gonna draw out the nose shape a little bit. This way, increase my brush size a bit. We got our nose. Okay, and here, just kind of, don't be too picky. You can have it rounded off so it's a softer edge. Looking great. Okay, let's jump over to the ears and add a new layer, and we'll call this Ears detail. Ears detail or ear detail. And I'm gonna select that pink and add it in right here for my inside of the ear. You can choose a different color. You don't have to use pink, you can use a brown. I just like how the pink makes it a little bit more cute. And now, because the detail in the ears are on separate layers, we can tap back on that ear layer, turn on alpha lock, select that darker brown, and bring down our opacity of our brush. Increase the size, decrease the opacity to give it some shading. That's the trick to uh, shading. Bring down your opacity, 
and then just ever so slightly, you can make it darker really quickly. Make that pink pop a little bit more. Okay, I like it. And because the face and the nose are in different layers, same idea, we can add some shading, but we can leave that at the end. For now, our face looks pretty good, but it is quite big. So the line's mane may not fit. So what I'm gonna do is tap on the first layer and select the other ones. So they're all selected, make sure they're all selected. You can even group them. So if our group is selected, tap the transform tool, make sure uniform is on, and I'm just going to shrink my lion's face. And kind of make sure it's in the middle of the page. Yep, that's good. And now we have room for the colorful lines main. New layer. And this is, I'm gonna start like in the orange area, maybe the, actually I'm gonna start in the pink area. Start in that pink area. And I'm gonna have one layer for each shape of the main as I go around to where's Pinterest to get these shapes. You can have them more separated. You can have it really close together. This one has a little bit in between these two. Uh, same with this one. There's shorter ones, there's longer ones. Tons of different shapes. I like the idea of rainbow, so I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna go around with the rainbow and then I will add fun geometric detail. Got the chalk brush. Increase my opacity to 100 again. Decrease my brush size to about 15. That's about good. It's a little bit bright. Okay, here we go. And make sure the layers be below the face. So that's being drawn behind. There we go. And fill as much of the white part as you can. Make them be nice and big. New layer, new color. New layer, going around the rainbow here. Maybe I'll make this one a little bit shorter just for New layer, let's keep going around and around. And I think I like how the one image had some orange in between each of the fun colors. So we can do that after, if I choose to. New layer. I think they make it like, oh yeah, that's fun. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. Let me know in the comments. Whoops, there we go, new layer. Make sure you got a new layer. Makes life a little bit easier. But I'm very curious to know how your lion's mane turns out. So if you have social media, if you have Instagram, tag me in your post-it and tag me in your description and the image so that I can see it. If you don't, have social media or just don't like using it comment below what color you decided to go with did you go a rainbow as i'm doing did you go i guess mine is more pastel colors technically did you use dark colors light colors 
Yeah, definitely more pastel-y. It definitely looks pastel-y. It's always fun to recreate different crafts that we see from other awesome art teachers, but minus the mess. All in Procreate, you can do this on the couch, in the car, it's quite awesome. Curious to know, do you have a favorite spot you like to create art? Do you have an art room, a couch, outside? I usually like to draw just for fun, just for myself outside. Obviously right now I'm inside because I'm recording. I grab the lawn chair, a little stool for my feet, and I sit and just color, draw, illustrate, and procreate. But now it's the winter months, so I'm slowly kind of curling up on the couch um, in front of the fireplace. Somewhere nice and warm, relaxing. Oh, this is looking so fun. Maybe I'm getting a little bit more saturated here. Oh yes, look at that. We have almost made a full circle and I am still not back to the where we started. That's okay. Oh, sometimes you make a mistake and you end up forgetting to add an extra layer. That's okay. Just keep that in mind, keep double checking. Uh, I think I'm back to purple. Yes, I am. I'm going to increase my brush size just to make it a little bit quicker to color in these mane. Oh, I did it again. Forgot the layer, but that's okay. Just keep going. It's not the end of the world. Hmm. I will just jump a little over because I got my I'm back to purples, but I still have some room. So I think I want another blue one in here. And I like that teal. New layer, new layer. Don't forget new layer. So many choices, so many choices. I think I'm gonna go back to orange. I did enjoy that orange. There. And 
Just finish off with like a pinky. Nice. Okay, so we have our main. I have it in a rainbow style. Because each of these colors are on a different layer, you can mix and match them around. You can move them if you'd like very easily. You're able to do that. For example, if I want to change this orange and that purple, all I have to do is find the orange, which the trick to do that is hold here, tap your pencil on the screen. I'll tell you what layer it's on, 20. And it'll automatically jump to 20. So see, 20. But those two are connected, so I can't use that one. I'll use 19. I'm gonna tap on the transform tool, tap flip horizontally, and scoot it over here to the purple side. And now I will tap hold to find that purple layer, flip horizontally, and move it here. So your options are endless. You can move, change things around. Even here, maybe too much yellow is here. I can select that, flip vertically this time. And it kind of disappears, so I'm just gonna bring the layers up here so I can see it. There it is. Mm, uh, flip horizontally, there we go. Bring it in here. Like so. There you go. Like that. Maybe I'll even increase the size a bit. There you go. And I can put it in between those two layers because I know where my pink and purple are down here. Look at that. So it's kind of like hidden, but not. And I can just add a new layer here between those oranges. And let's make it red. It just colors it like that. So your options are endless. You can take your time changing up the different colors and geometric shapes you've drawn. So now to add the fun geometric shapes on top, what I'm going to do is go to the first one, find it, but you can just do this. Oh, it's right there. Swiped with two fingers to the right. It will automatically off a lock that. And now I'm going to select that color with my finger, tap my color wheel, and go to Harmony. And I have this last one selected, but you can flip through and find the different color harmonies. So you got complementary, split complementary, and so on. I like this last one. And what I will do is just tap on this purple. And since alpha lock is on, I don't have to worry about the rest of the page. And I'm just gonna draw, decrease my brush, draw some fun geometric shapes, and zigzag. This part, I'm gonna speed up. Everyone will have a different design, of course. Just keep going, tap on your next layer, find where it is, which is right there. Swipe with two fingers to the right, color select it. And we are back. So we got our main done. You got all your fun different designs in there. Let's add in the last few details. We want to go back to that group that we've made. That's where our face is. So let's add in a little bit more detail to the face just to make it pop a little bit more. Let's start off with making the face off a lock. Grab that light brown that we used for the ears by color picking the nose. We're going to bring down the opacity to about 20 and increase the brush size as much as we can. And we're still on chalk, round face, yes. Just ever so slightly, a little bit, add some shading around the face to help separate it from your mane. Like 
And that's why our opacity is so low. So we don't have to worry about too much pressure. And we can just add a tiny bit of highlight there. I'm going to grab that pink. Still on the face. Opacity still low. And just ever so slightly add a little highlight here. Beautiful. And last but not least, we need a background color. So scroll all the way down to the bottom, type your background color, layer, and here is where the fun begins. You can choose whatever color you'd like. You can have black, which is a lot of fun. A very bright color. Just turn your color wheel around. I'm gonna go for black, just so my tiger pops out even more. Done. We have our lion. Did I say tiger earlier? I meant lion. You can send that to a friend. And again, find me on Instagram, tag me, show me what you've created. And if not, comment down below what colors you chose and what style you went for. See you in the next video.